This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about adding uh, different units together. Um, in this video, we're going to learn how to add the feet and inches together and then express our final answer in terms of feet and inches with doing unit conversions. So we have uh, four specific rules that we need to know when adding the units um, with feet and inches. The first rule is to add like units together. So notice that we have feet and inches. So we're going to add the feet together and then the inches together. The second rule says is that if the number of inches is greater than 12, we're going to divide um, that number of inches by 12. So number of inches by 12. And then the third rule follows up with this idea that if the quotient, that's the answer you get, is the number of feet. And then the remainder is the number of inches. So we're going to see how that works on one of our examples. And then the last rule, number four, is to repeat rule number one and like units together to help us simplify um, the problem. So let's look at an example where we have, um, we're going to add three feet, two inches, uh, plus five feet, nine inches. So we can add the inches together. We get two inches plus nine inches. That's 11 inches. And then 3 feet plus 5 feet is 8 feet. So since we don't have, um, you know, uh, 12 inches or more, then we're going to leave our answer as 8 feet 11 inches. Let's look at our second example. We have add 7 feet 6 inches plus 9 feet 10 inches. So if we have, let's say we have 6 inches and 10 inches, we add those together we get 16 inches. And then 7 feet plus 9 feet is 16 feet. So we have 16 feet and 16 inches. So now since we have um, number of inches is greater than 12, we have to divide by uh, 16 by 12. So we'll do 12 into 16. 12 into 16 goes one time. And one times 12 is 12. And then we subtract. 16 minus 12 is 4. So we notice that the quotient here is 1. That tells us how many feet we have. So we have 1 foot and then the remainder is 4. That tells us how many inches we have. 4 inches. So we're going to take 16 feet and then Repeat number one to simplify, so add like units together. So we're going to have 16 feet, 16 inches is the same as 16 feet plus 1 feet, 4 inches. So we know 16 feet, this is kind of like 0 inches, it's just 16 feet, so 0 plus 4 is 4, so for 4 inches. And 16 feet plus 1 feet is 17 feet. So we have 17 feet 4 inches would be our final answer. Another point I want to make is that if you get the number of inches exactly 12, you also have to convert that um, into feet. So um, so if you got something like, let's say for example, you had 7 inches plus um, 5 inches, 
if you add those together you get 12 inches but 12 inches is one foot so you would just convert this to one foot since we know that 12 inches is one foot so this rule number two also would apply if you have exactly 12 inches as well um, so there may be an instance where you can get exactly 12 and then you just have to shoot it over to one foot okay so let's do um, some you try problems uh, have three problems that you can try on your own let's read those out loud we have um, first one says to add two feet five inches plus four feet three inches and the second one says to add 11 feet seven inches plus five feet nine inches and then the last one is a little bit different. Um, we have 8 feet plus 45 inches. So notice that there's no inches with the feet with 8 feet and then there's no feet with the 45 inches. So you're going to have to convert um, your units there. And just remember that um, the 12 inches uh, equals 1 foot. So feel free to um, pause the video to work on these three problems or rewind, you know, if you need to review the rules for adding the feet and inches together. And then we will go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers here. So if we're going to add 2 feet, 5 inches, plus 4 feet, 3 inches, we add the inches together first. So we get 5 inches plus 3 inches. That's going to be 8 inches. And then 2 feet um, plus 4 feet, that's going to give us 6 feet. So then our final answer is 6 feet 8 inches. So notice that the number of inches is um, less than or equal to 12. So we don't have to convert the inches to feet. So 6 feet 8 inches. Okay. And then for the second problem, we're going to add 11 feet 7 inches to 5 feet and 9 inches. So we're going to add the inches together first, so 7 inches plus 9 inches, 16 inches. And then we also have um, 11 feet and 5 feet, that gives us 16 feet. So we have 16 feet, 16 inches. And so we have to convert. So we do 16 divided by 12. So 12 goes into 16. So that's going to be one time. So that would be four. So we have one feet for quotient, four inches. And then we're going to add the 16 feet. And then of course we have no inches. And then we have 1 feet, 4 inches. So that's going to be 16. Let's see. We'll do 0 and 4. It's 4 for 4 inches. And then 16 plus 1 is 17 feet. Four inches. So you get 17 feet and 4 inches. And you know, I think that was 
you know, it's kind of similar to a problem we did earlier, you know, but we kind of got 16 feet, 16 inches, just slightly different numbers, but just happened to be the same way. Okay, now for the last problem we have is 8 feet plus 45 inches. So in this case, we know we don't have any inches here, so 0 inches, and then we have 0 feet here. So if we add these together, 0, 45 is 45 inches, and then 8 plus 0 is 8, so 8 feet, 45 inches. And we know we have to convert the um, 45 inches to feet and inches. So we'll do 12 into 45. Oops. 12 into 45. And then I'm glad we have that undo button there. <laughs> That's kind of nice um, to delete something that you don't want. Um, so we do 12 into 45, that's going to go 3 times. 3 times 12 is 36. And then when we subtract, you can't take 6 from 5, so you borrow 4 is 3. Make this a 15. And then we know 15 minus 6 is 9. So 45 minus 36 is 9. And so we know that the quotient is 3, so that's the number of feet. And we know that 9 is the number of inches, that's our remainder. So just rewriting this, we're going to have our 8 feet. And then of course the 0 inches. And then the 45 inches, we converted that to, what was that, 3 feet, 9 inches, All right? So we're going to add those together. So we have 0 inches plus 9 inches is 9 inches. And then 8 feet plus 3 feet is 11 feet. So you get 11 feet and 9 inches. 11 feet and 9 inches. So let's check our answers to see if they the same. Yeah, 6 feet 8 inches, 17 feet 4 inches, and 11 feet 9 inches. So those are the answers. And if you got those right, you did an awesome job. Well done. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching um, this video lesson on adding units uh, with the feet and inches and then converting to feet and inches. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.